mind? Get off me, you freak! Just your mom, huh? Just your mom! How about that? No! You want your mom? There's your mom! My mom! These videos are satiric reviews. You don't have to agree, but don't bitch about it. A lot of the time, the wrestling videos I make for this channel can be entertaining to wrestling marks and non-fans alike. And this is definitely one of those times. Before I play the video I'm about to play, allow me to provide a little bit of context. Perry Saturn was a wrestler who made his name known throughout the 90s. He was never a household name like The Rock or Austin. Far from it. But he was always a recognizable face. He was undoubtedly successful, picking up victories in WCW, ECW, and the then WWF. Becoming one half of the legendary team of the Eliminators in ECW, joining the WCW stable of Raven's Flock, and debuting in the later WWE as a part of the Radicals. And of course, the pre-Radical Radicals. Nobody likes to talk about them, but that was a thing. A former three-time ECW tag champion a two-time WCW Tag Champion, a WWF Hardcore and European Champion. It's safe to say that Perry Saturn carved out a legacy in his own right. And if all of what I just said hasn't justified his place in wrestling history, then that hat certainly will. You'll notice him here being accompanied to the ring by Goldust's ex-wife. Here you'll see him take on a virtual nobody in the form of Mike Bell. No disrespect to Mike, I'm just stating that within the context of this company, Mike Bell was nobody. He wasn't on the roster, he wasn't contracted by the company, he was a one-and-done performance. He was brought in to do a job. Now, the politically correct term here for someone like that in wrestling is enhancement talent, but that's bullshit. He was a jobber, and there's nothing wrong with that. If anything, I'd like to think that being a jobber is somewhat of a compliment. It'd mean the company trusted you enough to make someone else look good. And really, isn't that the sign of a good worker? Someone who has the ability to make their opponents look even better? I bring this all up because that's going to come into play in just a little bit. Evelyn Benoit, a medals match at Judgment Day. This commentary feels a little uncomfortable in hindsight now, doesn't it? Because Kurt is irate at Chris Benoit for stealing the Olympians' gold medal. And that would be far from the worst thing that Chris Benoit would do. Outside of that, so far so good. Everything seems to check out here. Uh, maybe a little bit sloppy here and there, but not exactly something that's botchamania worthy, right? Well, I'm going to pause right here to share one of my own personal stories. You see, the first time that I was backstage at a wrestling show, I asked one of the workers, Tommy Guns, what it was like to work with Rez a guy who was kind of mentoring me and a friend at the time. And he'd said, Rez is a cool dude, but he gets a little frustrated when you have too many oopses in your match. If you have a couple oopsies, he might deliver a couple intentional oopsies. Keep that story in mind for just a second as we continue to watch this video. Well, Perry Saturn now, uh, a simple shoulder block will have tremendous impact. Drop down for Mike Bell. Nice hip toss. The hip toss up and over and... Uh, and oops. Mike Bell. Nice hip toss. The hip toss up and over and... Uh, it was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Saturn rolling on his shoulder. Wait a minute. Boy, you're talking about Saturn opening up on Mike Bell. And here it goes. Apparently, Rez must have been a student of Perry Saturn because he doesn't like oopsies either. He just won't stand for them. And he'll make sure you don't either. But notice how just a second ago they were chain wrestling and giving hip tosses. And now, and now he's just straight up hitting and kicking the shit out of him. We went from technical wrestling to a straight up brawl. The match went from Chris Benoit in the ring to Chris Benoit in real life. How did that happen? Wow! You don't want to make Perry Center? Oh man! Oh, right on his noggin! And uh, holy shit, can we just rewind that for a second? Jesus Christ, Perry looked like he almost landed on his head from that hip toss. Mike Bell looks like he just had his bell rung. He looks like he just had his neck snapped in half. As a matter of fact, let's compare and contrast from the time the culturally inappropriate Pedro did almost the same thing. Oh, 
but I'm sure Perry just needed some time to cool off, you know, think things over, and now that he's sound of mind, I'm sure he's gonna check if he's- Oh, shit, Perry! What the fuck are you doing? Hey. Oh my goodness! Did no one tell Saturn that this is staged? He's looking to legitimately kill this man. Bill got thrown right out on the side of his, uh, on top of his head, then man. in the back of his head, uh, Perry Saturn just ran those stairs. You can tell due to the slow-paced nature of Bell that he's clearly hurting right now. And you can also tell by this silverback gorilla stature of Perry that he don't give a fuck. Perry, seriously, I say this as a friend and a fan here. Y you gotta stop. <laughs> You're going to have charges pressed against you. Pretty question that I know Matt, Jeff, and Lita are asking themselves right now. The Latino hate on the fist. You can't just drop this dude on his head, his full body weight, mind you, on his fucking head, and then look to rip it from his neck in the corner. He's not even contracted by the company, Perry. He's not supposed to be here past this appearance. What are you thinking? And I think that may be exactly what Marlena here is telling him. She's all up in his ear like, Perry... You know you got warrants. Seriously, can someone find and applaud Terry Runnels here? Someone take to Twitter, find her. Tell her thank you. I mean, she should be commended for this. I mean, in the history book, she should be attributed in having tried to save a man's life. I just imagine there's people in the audience, popcorn in hand, slowly munching away, saying to their friend in the corner, Wow, it looks so real. That chivalry may not be dead. That's right, chivalry may not be dead, but Mike Bell sure as hell will be. Slatter definitely showing him, uh, showing Mike Bell that chivalry may not be dead in his... The Perry Saturn hook in the leg, too, and Mike Ooh. Bell... Mike, no! Mike, Mike, no! Stay down! Stay down! And stay down not because it looked like he hit a finish, but stay down because if you get up again, he might just kill you. Before the count of three, we will see the lethal weapon Steve right. Blackman in action a little oh, bit later on. Perry Satter now has Mike oh. Bell. Mike Bell, no small man. Hoist him up and be a trick. Oh, Mike, I tried to warn you. I damn near begged you to listen to me. Now look at yourself. And if Perry Saturn gets his way, you just might be physically able to. Because he's going to tear you apart. I mean, where's Jim Ross to talk reason to this man from the commentating booth? With shouts of, you can't do that to a man's body. I mean, this is just like watching murder in a wrestling ring. There's no punchline. It's just, that's what's going on here. It's murder in a wrestling ring. Here it comes. Was that necessary, Perry? Was, was that last bit? Was that last bit necessary? Was any of what preceded it necessary? And look at him. Look, he, he looks like that did nothing for him. He just, he just went through all of that, and he, his aggression hasn't even, like, uh, fizzled. He's too pissed off to even celebrate. Can you imagine being the officials behind the scenes watching their own worker beat the holy hell out of this guy who's supposed to only be there for this one show? I bet you could guess they were none too pleased. Which is allegedly why not too long after, Saturn was saddled with a gimmick in which he'd only respond to questions with, you're welcome, or thank you. You smell like a Viking. You're welcome. And that same angle, would see him leave Terry Runnels and fall in love with a mop. That's not some shitty joke I made either. Saturn literally left the artist formerly known as Merlina to pursue a relationship with whom he dubbed Moppy. You know what? You have given this stupid mop more attention than you've given to me. Make a decision. The mop or me, Perry? Which one? You're welcome. <sighs> Oh yeah, I ship it. I ship the fucking shit out of it. So with that being said, I'm the Social Injustice Warrior V Infuso, and if you like the words that came out of my mouth hole, and you too want to become a VTard, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's plenty more where this video came from. Follow me on Twitter, because hell, why not? It's not considered stalking if it's on the internet, am I right? And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't have anything catchy to add to that, but just, j just join it. Just go go do it. And if you have a free moment of time and a free dollar to spare, then head over to my Patreon, where for just one buck, you too could help keep this boat afloat. And if you don't have that dollar, 
but you do have a free moment of time, then hit the share button. It will help me out tremendously. Vitart, oh.